Hello everyone, this is Noor and welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming my last tutorial for this Friends series, finally. I really hope you guys enjoyed all of them. If you guys haven't seen them, they are already all on my channel. I will have some linked at the end of this video and I will also have one that's going to be linked up here. I don't know which side, I always like confused. That's why I'm somewhere up here. <laughs> I always do this because I don't know where it is. <laughs> So today's tutorial is going to be Chandler, the last but not least, this is Chandler and I honestly, I'm not so impressed with this one, you will see why in the tutorial but the colors of it, it's just super nice but also very disappointing because they didn't look like that on my face, I mean you can see it, it's not like super bright as you guys could see it on the palette right here but anyways i still had fun creating this look and i really hope you guys enjoy it so before i go ahead and show you guys how i created this look if you are new here to my channel thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button to get notified every time i upload a new video it would really mean a lot to me and i would love to have you guys aboard on the light family that i have here on my channel so if you guys want to learn how i created this look please keep on watching So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do, like always, is priming my eyes and I'm actually using a concealer and this is from Kat Von D and this one is called White Out and I'm gonna go ahead and add a tiny bit of this on my eye then take a brush and blend it out and then I'm also going to be using my fingers just to kind of smooth it in place since I'm using the Chandler palette today and it looks like this I'm also going to be dipping into We Were On The Break palette you guys have seen me use this in my previous tutorial but I also created a full tutorial just using this palette as well I feel like the mini, especially the colorful ones like this they do need a little bit of help with this palette I feel like they killed it for this one the colors into the minis especially like joey and chandler um joey was way much better than chandler i feel this one was was rough this one was really really rough so i'm going to be using the uh we were on the break palette to create this look today as always i'm going to be taking cat and this color is going to go on the brow bone area just to kind of highlight and brighten the brow bone area but it's also going to help make the blending easier first color i'm taking is called hello mr bang and this is from the chandler palette and i'm grabbing this with an eyeshadow brush and to be honest with you guys this color doesn't show at all but i am going to apply it right here in the corner since i did the other eye i need to use this color you know what i mean so this is just going to go in the inner corners and I'm literally like trying my best to pack this color in there but I just feel like it's so faint and it doesn't show at all. I really thought that this color will look like this color which in my eyes I don't see it. I don't know if you guys see it but I honestly do not see it. So but I'm still applying it on like next color i'm taking is called hypnosis this one has a little bit more color to it and this is gonna go right on top right here um honestly today's color placements i don't know what happened i don't know what got into me i don't know i just felt like weird placements today i don't know i just kind of like you know wanted to be creative and wanted to have fun with the palette you know have fun with the colors and this is what I came up with. So as you guys can see, this color shows a tiny bit. It's not super bright like you see it on the pan. Again, this is also kind of like a disappointment. Comparing it to the um, We Were On The Break palette, the colors in that one is so bright and so pigmented. I just don't know why did they flop on this mini one. Especially the colors in here are so pretty. But when you apply them on, you're like really disappointed <laughs> and that is what happened today next one i'm taking is called eddie and eddie is just gonna go in the middle of my eyelid and also blending it upwards all the way up to the crease again this is a nice pink like out of all the colors in this palette i feel like the pink is the 
the color that is more workable than the others it's still not as bright and pigmented as i thought it would be but this is a color that you definitely need to pack and pack and pack and pack till it kind of like shows you know if you guys want a light pink that is you know not super bam in your face then i guess this is the one for you but to be honest i'm just not impressed with this pink comparing it to the pink from the joey palette that one was phenomenal and comparing it to the pink that is in the we were on the break palette this one has nothing to do with both and that is my top honest opinion if you guys don't know already I'm quite frank, quite honest here on my channel. Like, I'm not gonna show you something because, you know, I'm just showing you something or it's a collection or if anybody sent me anything for free. I am quite honest and this is what I'm trying to bring to my channel and just kind of be frank and transparent with you guys. If I don't like something and if I don't like something, I won't recommend it. And I know everybody's different, but, you know, as a makeup artist, I feel like when it comes to products, and especially makeup is not cheap these days you know what i mean so yeah i just wanted to say that <laughs> a little bit of a day rant and just get it off my way <laughs> so this is going to look like this it's quite crazy out there there's no right or wrong way for this look today i'm just literally taking the colors and slapping them on my eyes and this is what i am feeling today next color this is called erica and i feel this color is my biggest biggest disappointment it's actually more disappointing than hello mr bing that i applied right here uh because this doesn't show whatsoever but i am still applying it on the outer corners right here and just going to blend it you guys could see it a tiny bit but honestly like for a pastel purple I really thought it was going to be really like a pastel purple, like bam in your eyes. No, no. Yeah, I'm just applying it in the outer corners right here. And what's going to help this color is this color right here. And I'm taking a parchment from the We Were on the Break palette. And I have to say this purple is so, so pretty. Um, but this is going to make it a little bit lighter since we applied Erica under it. And I'm just going to pack this color I'm gonna start off really light and then slowly build it up because it is a quite pigmented purple and this is gonna go in the outer corners right here and I'm also dragging it to the lower lash line this is gonna look like a big concoction of mess this whole look is a mess today <laughs> I'm just gonna slowly start packing this purple and just kind of make it a, a little bit darker and I'm using like tapping motions to apply this color and then I'm going to take my same brush and do circular motions to really blend it in together. Now I'm taking Eddie again, that pink color from the Chandler palette. And I'm just going to enhance it a little bit more. Now I'm going to be taking Hypnosis again, that uh, greenish color. And I'm just going to finesse it a little bit more and make it, you know, try to make it pop. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit of closure which is kind of like a light blue color um, I don't, I don't want to say it's similar to hello mr. Bing because it's a little bit darker than hello mr. Bing and um, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and kind of like pack it where I applied hello mr. Bing this is just going to give a little bit more definition now I'm gonna be taking bigger boat it's actually a super nice blue on the pan once it's on the eyes this stuff is so patchy and so hard to blend i find so i'm taking it with a big brush i don't know if you guys know what i mean but this stuff is so patchy and it doesn't stick on my freaking skin and it's so annoying i am going to try my best to apply it like i did it with the other eye look at this fallout too like i'm having fallouts today i feel what really brought this look somewhat together is that shimmery blue going on right here i'm gonna be taking a little bit of foosball kind of like a bluish greenish color and i'm going to put this right here and i feel like this also kind of like helped that color because bigger boat is i'm gonna be taking a little bit of apartment again and i am going to put that on the outer corners 
and try to blend it with the blues but the colors are honestly not sticking together at all i'm gonna be taking erica again which is the pastel purple and i'm going to finesse everything together even though i don't see a difference but we do need them to blend into each other if you know what i mean now for the shimmer this color right here um i'm not sure how to call it is it tulsa tulsa I'm not sure but um okay so my brush is dry right I just want to show you this. When you apply this dry, it doesn't stick on. You know, it just shimmers and glitters. It does not stick. So uh, this color right here, it's something that you need to wet. So I'm using my setting spray. So I'm using my setting spray and I'm gonna grab this color. It packs a little bit better with the setting spray and the best thing to do with this is literally just pat it, pat it, pat it, pat it, pat it, pat it, pat it and not sweep it because if you sweep it, it's just going to be a big mess. It doesn't have to be perfect. What's going to really divide it from uh, looking crazy is the lines that I am going to be doing. But honestly, it's a fun look, you know? If you're gonna go outside for a walk in the summertime, then this is the perfect look. Okay, I'm also wetting my brush and I'm going to be taking this shade right here. This is called Jack. My brush is dry. Nothing. You can see a tiny bit, but it's like literally not on there whatsoever. And I'm gonna be taking this and I'm going to be packing it on the outer corners right here. Right on top of apartment. And I'm gonna try to, you know, shimmer it it out like Rachel says kick in the crotch fantastic so I'm gonna take a little bit of Erica again and blend it all together like that we're just going to you guys understood that without me saying anything I'm gonna be taking my NYX this is the smudger and gel liner um, and this is in white and I'm taking it with a brush like that and this is gonna go into the waterline I thank God I decided to do this because I feel like this is what kind of brought the look together because I didn't know what to do now I'm gonna go ahead and create swirls or swiggles I don't know how to call this um, the reason why I did this is because, you know, at one point in Friends, uh, Chandler starts to smoke and this is kind of like mimic mimicking the smoke um, that Chandler used to do. So, I don't know, I just wanted to be creative with it and this is what I thought just to kind of like save the look, if you guys know what I mean, because if I keep it like this, it's rough, you know? So I am just going to create those swiggles. Um, or swirls and I'm positive this is not going to look the same but I am going to try my best so I'm gonna start from the end right here uh, from the lower waterline here I don't want it to look the same you see like this one went like this this one went like that it's fine but if you really want it to look the same then you guys could do it the same but honestly i'm just trying to have fun with it and try to save the look as much as i can so i'm gonna do the same thing here so i'm gonna start off from the middle part You see, once you have your outline, then you can go ahead and make the corrections, make it a little bit more white. You know, you just kind of play around with it with what you desire, I guess. I have this little thing right here and I'm just going to run it through and just, this helps with a little bit of the cleanup. Honestly, I don't know what these are called. I think like mini Q-tips, small Q-tips, I don't know. <laughs> now I'm taking a liquid liner um, also from NYX. This is just going to make the lines a little bit more cleaner. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna take a little bit of Eddie um, and I'm just going to enhance it a tiny bit more. Okay, so that is all for the eyeshadow slash the liner. Um, again, you kind of have fun with it. Create what you want to create with your makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and apply lashes and mascara. Uh, the mascara I'm using, it is the Benefit They're Real. I use this all the time here on my channel. It's my favorite mascara. Then for lashes, I'm using the MFMA and these are the Pro Lights. If ever you wish to get the lash, I will leave the link of them in the info box down below you can also use my coupon code and it's lbbynd for 10% off and you can also uh, purchase different lash styles as well that they have on their website and they also have tools and everything so I would highly recommend you check it out so I'm gonna go ahead and apply these on I'll be back to do the face makeup with you guys Alrighty, as always, I'm going to be taking the face palette, also from Makeup Revolution and Friends. I already went ahead and I contoured a little bit with Mocha Chino. I'm just going to take a little bit of Chai, which is the two colors that I always use. I feel like they look better with my skin tone, uh, but you can use any ones that you have, uh, all depending on your skin tone, of course. So I'm just going to take a little bit chai and chisel out the face a tiny bit more. I am breaking out as you guys can see. I have one here and one here. And when it comes to like foundations and stuff, I don't overpack my face now. I don't mind if they peek through. I can go ahead and kind of like mimic a beauty mark uh, that you guys are going to see right now. Um, I feel like um, I just prefer to do that than just packing more products on my breakouts because I feel like when I do that they actually become worse than better so I just kind of you know cover them up lightly and then kind of like hide them with a beauty mark moving on to blushes I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab the same colors that I used in the joy tutorial and that is big break and sofa these two right here so I'm just taking both colors and applying it as a blush I'm gonna go quite outrageous and I think I wanna take a little bit of Love Machine, which is this pink right here. I might regret it, I don't know, but a tiny bit won't do anything, I guess. Ooh, I don't know. And I'm just going to lightly put that, oh, okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh, by the way, you guys, this is right here, it's a burn, okay? I curled my hair yesterday and I tsked myself. Um, it, it hurts okay so if you guys are thinking it's something else trust me it's not this one right here is the pen ultimate I think it's called pen pen ultimate brow marker from Mac I'm not sure if they still have them to be honest but you can go ahead and see if they do now I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. I am going to be using this one right here from Makeup Revolution and Friends, and this is the Monica one. But I like to go ahead and set my face with this one first. This is the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Setting Spray and Primer. Now I'm going to go ahead and highlight and I'm using Black Coffee from the Face Palette. <clears throat> I'm just taking it with a small uh, face brush. I like to use this one a lot. And I'm just going to pat this highlight into my skin and I like to highlight almost all my face <laughs> so chin nose a little bit on the temples right here and obviously the cheekbones right here as well for lips I'm gonna go ahead and use Monica's lip liner and Chandler's gloss like in the Ross tutorial and also in the Joey tutorial I featured their glosses from the series one and this is also what I'm doing for the Chandler tutorial as well I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with this color I was hoping not to sharpen it okay this is a brown color I don't know how this is going to look with the Chandler Gloss, but we are going to try. Now I'm going to take the Chandler Gloss, and the gloss is a little bit pink. So, ooh. Okay, so this is how the lips looks like. I honestly do like it. Um, is it my fave? Not so much, but I do like it with this look. I feel like it just gives it a little bit more of a je ne sais quoi kind of look. I don't know. <laughs> 
So let me go ahead and fix up my hair and I'll be back to finish up this tutorial with you guys. For you. Alrighty, you guys, this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, I did have a lot of fun with it, even though I struggled with it a little bit, but I managed to kind of, you know, work my way out of it. And this is what I created. And honestly, I really do like this creation i will be filming some videos on tiktok as well like makeup transformation if you guys don't follow me on tiktok make sure that you check out the description box you will see my name to follow me on there i've been really obsessed with it i love like all that makeup transformation to see me like the before and how i transform to like the after i kind of really really like like that <laughs> i do a lot of those on my tiktok if you guys are interested to see them check it out also if you like this tutorial make sure that you leave me a like i would really really appreciate it as for all the products that i use on my face everything is going to be in the description box down below like in every tutorial of mine everything is linked and indicated on there if you guys have any questions or concerns just leave them all in the comments down below and i'll try my best to get to you guys thank you all so much for watching i want to wish you all a wonderful day i love you guys and i'll talk to you later bye